the idea before we start with all the apparatus uh, in order to give you a as clear as possible feeling of what it of how it works we wanted to maybe test a bit the fact that you can uh, can you put your brain back in the frame of mind we were in when we were in Falmouth? Because there has been six months, I mean, say from June to now. And uh, it would be great if we, if we can just, co uh, and this is why we've been uh, creating a PowerPoint, especially to try to trigger your brain position uh, and, and make it uh, as, as, uh, as close as possible to what we have talked about uh, and what we have, uh, I, I hope, given you as, as clues, uh, in terms of clues about the uh, 3D. Uh, so here it is. The idea is when we are in the lower uh, budget independent film frame of mind, uh, because we, all, we know, of course, Hollywood sends us films which are done with a lot of, a lot of money. And it is possible to do films that way, but it will probably never be something that we do. Maybe a few British might be jumping on the other side of the channel, <laughs> but most of the time it is not uh, the, the range of films that we can do. And the good side of it is that most of us, we're not really interested by that way of doing things, so it's, it's good because uh, we, there's no frustration here. And it seems that there's, uh, there starts to be enough proof of concept, and we will go there uh, in, into what we've learned. Uh, there seem to be more and more proof of concept on the, of the fact that, yes, it is possible within low to medium budget frame. And this is going to be, uh, 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 this is so much even lighter and cheaper than what you saw yesterday, that, you know, year after year, it's getting even cheaper and more possible. Uh, and the proof of example of, of how this new understanding of, of 3D filmmaking, how that can be working are, yes, Pina and Love. And you have gravity in a way as a proof of concept, but it does, I consider it as not working because it's a huge budget. Um, but it, it proves the point which is uh, Francois' main uh, I mean, I will let you speak when, when it comes oh, yeah. to these, these slides. It proves the point about, you know, uh, the, the field of intimacy as a possibility. Um, now, if, if we want to go back to the, the few elements, if we have to keep in mind a few elements about what we learned from Merleau-Ponty, from, Merleau uh, from this uh, pretend to be a master class I was doing in English, where it's already so tough to do in French, um, it's, if we summarize it, it's seeing as questioning the world. I think that is something interesting, which is, it's not just I see, it's I see and it r raises questions in me. Um, our flesh consenting to the flesh of the world, it means this kind of equivalence, the symmetrical system between us as a, a being with flesh, uh, this symmetrical system created by, uh, between the flesh of the world, and the flesh of the tree, the flesh of the other, and my own. Um, which of course establishes a completely different perspective for the viewer. Um, the access, this is linked to what uh, Francois is going to talk about, uh, the access to the instinctual motor imaginary and desiring processes. Mm -hmm. Um, both research and waiting for. This is linked to seeing as questioning the world. This is a different way to phrase it. Uh, it means, it means uh, um, that the brain is doing this inquiry into things and in the meantime uh, it puts us in a position of being able to receive more. You know? uh, this is uh, this is not linked to uh, 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 brain research. <laughs> this is linked to this is uh, phenomenology, but it's uh, quite amazing how it how how it uh, uh, goes together. Um, a response to the incomplete character of perceived being. Yes, when I perceive 
uh, on a 2D uh, uh, space, when I perceive, I perceive the, the surface. And uh, the part of what I see, which I'm, I, I don't have access to, is huge. And 3D perception can be a way to compensate that and to get more <coughs> than what we normally get only through surface. Uh, the resolution of attention, it's also linked with everything else, meaning that uh, this permanent back and forth movement between the inquiry part of the brain going into onto the object, the other, uh, into the world, and the world being <coughs> as much an existence as mine, the world throws itself at me in the meantime as I'm throwing myself at the world, right? This is the... Yeah, the resolution of attention is, 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 uh, is, is linked to that. Uh, of course, we could stay um, 10 years on that kind of mm -hmm. uh, purpose. It's just to, to, to refresh the kind of frame of mind that we've been uh, triggering in, uh, in Falmouth. And la oh, I'll let you... Okay. Just now I make a, a quick resume about the passivity system and what we know, what we know it's different. It's uh, first, perception is not only uh, a question of vision, it's a full, uh, it's a full sensation. As I explained, we have, it's possi we, we have some sounds, we keep some information from the world. All these sounds go in our brain, and I read it in some different, uh, I would say, 3D, neuronal 3D model, where we match some information from, different kind, from the different kind of sounds. Then remember that when you make a 3D film, it's not only a visual film, it's, for example, a song film. The, what? the, song, the song, the, 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 the sound. 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 sound is very important. And the most important thing is that this song match on some time with the space. And that you get to, to rebuild the coherence of time in between the space and the song. It's not mean that you cannot make a music sometimes, which is not visible in the picture. But it's very important. Some, uh, to confirm to the brain that all the information we give come from the same space. Then, one uh, a few important point about all this list of thoughts. We don't see that because now it's not anymore with the color. But uh, uh, in all these sounds, there are one. There are two sounds who give us. A direct information of space, who is not a cognitive interpretation, but who unpick a part of your body in the perception. These two sounds are the vision, because you have two eyes and you have a dis your body have a distance in between your two eyes, and is this distance who reconnect you on the space? That is not only the brain who analyzes a perspective, but it's a direct feeling that your body is on the space. And that make, uh, and that is the difference in between monocular vision and stereoscopic vision. Your body, the size of your body, is something. Then that exists in the vision, and that exists too in the movement. When you move in the space, your body is directly implicated in the space. Okay. But this will have some connection with uh, action. Then, yep. no, 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 no. But very quickly, what happened? Uh, we know that uh, uh, some tests have been done in between people looking for a 2D film and a 3D film, and we discover that the, uh, uh, the main difference is an activation of this little uh, place here, with basically uh, superior co uh, coitus. Sorry, yeah, I'll, I'll go quick, but he's making the connection in between the different parts of the brain, the part where uh, where we are, the cognitive pa uh, part, and some, I will say, more phenomenal play part. So, to sum it up, to make it clear, because yes. it's, it's uh, 2D pushes analytical part, cognitive parts, okay. and 3D pushes... To interpret a 2D picture, you have to analyze, analyze some graphic element, like perspective, like color, we will talk about this element. Then, you, it's an uh, analyse. Your brain has to rebuild and to try to understand how we can adjust the element 
to fill a space, but he rebuilt himself the space. When you are in stereoscopy, by the two picture, you have a direct information of the space. Then he has not to analyze and to rebuild, he just reads the information of space in the difference in between the two pictures. When when the brain is activated by these two information, what happened? We discover that this little part here, who is the synapse, who gives you the possibility to act, is active. More active when, than when you are looking for a 2D picture. This means your body and your brain is ready to active you in the field. Of course, there are security and and you uh, it, uh, uh, used in the film is stay closed, but it's ready to open. Why is stay closed? Because uh, you don't go to run in the in the cinema room. But remember that uh, when you take your children and you looking for, uh, you show them uh, some three D films, sometimes they use that. And that is means that the synapse say okay, react. Then it means there are mobilization of your body when you're looking for a three D frame, and your body is ready to act more than in 2D. It's not mean that in 2D there are no some excitation sometimes, no? but it's really more stronger when we are 3D. It means your body is ready to feel the action he sees like a potential reality where he will have the possibility to act. Okay? Okay. Then, uh, this leads us to... Uh, you remember uh, uh, François was showing us uh, uh, pictures of what have been at the origin of 3D, the two kind of pictures that people were really interested in, in a time where 3D images were generating more fascination uh, than uh, 2D images, you know, end of 19th century and beginning of 20th, um, the two kind of exploration that were mostly uh, effective with 3D were both of these. And just to reconnect with the view we have before, because why, why, why we need to act in the real life? Basically, there are two basic needs. The first one, you need to hunt, to catch, to feed you. And the second thing is you need to reproduce you. That's two very basic to survive, you know? And our souls have been built by that. But what is very interesting is we see that when you're looking for the, the production of 3D film and 3D photo from the beginning, you find these two orientations. I can see a space because I want to discover, I want to go inside, I want to act inside. That is more the predation or the, uh, my body will, be, will hack in the space. That's the first thing. And I need, I, I, I see in 3D two perceive a volume, to perceive the presence of somebody who comes to me. And that is more, I would say, the, the shape. We have the space with the action. And we have one other form, it's more the shape, with the intimacy. How I take contact with the other is that for sexuality is, and yes. uh, reproduction with the space. Is, is, that, that, person, uh, is that person uh, uh, a danger? Or is that person a possibility for me to spread my genes? That we, we, it it looks like we have these two very strong occurrences with 3D to understand the space, to act with the space, or to understand the presence of the other and to be in an intimate relation. Then these two four are all time present on the uh, 3D cinema. And we can feel it in these examples. Yeah. Then, if we're looking for one of the first 3D films, Avatar, it was action, radiation, acting. Of course, at the hand, there was a girl from the And discovery of a new space. But discover a new, new space was mainly the first thing, and it was used by a computer graphic who was very efficient for <coughs> rebuild some new world, you know? And slowly, it's not, it's not in order of time, it's order of from uh, space to shape. And slowly, with the apparition of uh, 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 the still uh, live picture camera, 
we see that slowly there are a kind of transfer, possible transfer on the other form with ultimacy. That if we it's take intimacy, if we take gravity, gravity is a kind of, for me, it's a very interesting example because it's a film who play on the two phase. It's action, space, we cannot say that gravity is not space, and in the same time, it's intimacy and presence. And this film play on the, on the two, uh, two aspects. After we have Pina, we still action, because dance is action, but we are very near the body. That we are in a kind of intimacy with the action, I would say. And now, the film we see yesterday, with the other, where we are really on the intimacy, the presence of the body, and the contact of the body. But it's very interesting to see how, by the time, slowly, the second part with the activity come back and interest some film director. Of course, what we we are interested in this workshop on this side. How the user can use anti, uh, 3D for anti, anti uh, uh not only but film about relation in between the people, but too in between the with with the space. Okay? Yeah. And by the way, uh, this evolution has only been made possible by a technical uh, discovery, in a way, or, or, or tool, which is the mirror rig. Right? Yeah. Without the mirror rig, it wasn't possible to put the two cameras as close as possible, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, you know, the two optic uh, axes, so that intimacy could be filmed. Before that, with the, just the volume of the cameras, it wasn't possible to film what was just in front. Mm -hmm. Because uh, your camera, the interocular in between your camera was too large, and you cannot come near. You will see when we want to go near, we ready to enter. So, what is the idea alterity and the lien? Okay, alterity, alterity. The other, link with the other. Okay. I, the, the the alterity is uh, what is, is what is me, and what is other. What is my limit? Yeah. Yeah. Say, uh, uh, what what make me not the same thing? Is it otherness? Otherness. Otherness. Say say in fact, what is my what is my limit? What is the moi et l'autre? What is the limit on between me and the other, or yes. me and the space? Uh, basically, the skin is uh, one of the limit of the alterity, but we know it's more complex than that. A distance. Yeah, about the key. That uh, um, gravity is completely focused yeah. about alterity. Where is my limit? In my limit is my skin, my scaphon, the cabin. Where is the space that I control? Then it's all time. Or, uh, and what happens when somebody comes in this space? And link is what is connect me with those. Next slide. Okay, that's a resume of what we all what we explain. Huh? Shape, volume and depth. So, the uh, film is just shape more than the space. Uh, body present in space, physicality. That is uh, what we said. we were talking about this uh, proximity too. This mm -hmm. proximity. proximity. Uh, visual touch was a, a, a word used a lot by Alain de Rob. Uh, and that is connect with uh, uh, the photo of the brain I see, show you. It's when I com make my convergence, I, I have by my eyes the feeling of the contact of the mat material. And we know why now is because this little uh, uh, curriculum, uh, uh, th this little part of the brain is directly connected with the touch. This means 3D vision is intimately connected in the brain with touch. The touch is an uh, evaluation of distance. And uh, resonance motrice, it's, uh, uh, it's what I explain. When you're looking for a 3D film, your body is in resonance with the action and ready to act. OK. Uh, that's uh, what we call uh, the proximity in front. I think it's a proximity to in a, it's not proximity, right? it's proximity. Distance. What does it mean that? It means that we are 
an infinite space means one meter of hal is basically uh, the distance where if somebody is here, he can touch me. I cannot, it's, it's on, on the limit of my arm. I, I cannot push him, he's, he's too near. You know? That is the distance where you accept people. Uh, uh, it's a distance where it's not, you accept only people very near of the and team with you, or if somebody comes here, you feel an aggression. After you have a social space with a wrong personal space first. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Intimate first. Yeah. First intimate is what I say is one meter fifty. No, 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 no. Uh, intimate, you you said it's it's okay. the touch. Yeah, it's okay. It's uh, sorry, and contact. Space, I think it's a forty forty five centimeter. It's my heart. Personal space, uh, culturally related. Yeah, yeah the, the intimate is uh, less than uh, a half of a meter. The personal space is one meter of half. But, but you mean in England it should be uh, well, a long way away? Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> and of course, I think it, there are some parts cultural. In Japan, you, you, you are more in contact with others and they accept very more easily the proximity. They can sleep with three people around them in the distance of uh, uh, 40 centimeters. Okay, what I want to say is uh, if we're looking for this distance, that is a very close shot. That is the equivalent of a shot here. That this uh, social space is uh, uh, the same thing that uh, people, when you see the food, then my problem is when you frame in 3D, you forget the traditional framing world, and you think about this distance. And that will be on your way to think, and we will test that this morning. This is, I think, more relevant to think about the distance, on what means a distance in between people than the framing. And distance between the viewer and and, and, and between and the, the viewer, viewer right? because the camera is really a viewer. That it, it just to chant how I use. You don't think about the framing side. You think about this proximity. And the interesting point is to discover that this proximity distance are very near in two D as a, a framing side. You know. Okay. Then we will test that, and I will. Uh, I want we, you, you test it and you feel this distance being directly on the camera. Okay, what we will test this morning too is to understand what is the structure of the scenic box. Scenic box is it's not the frame now, it's this pyramidal box you have in front of the camera. And then, don't think about frame, think about the volume, a part of the space you cut and you keep. And it's a sprint, of course, huh? it's a sprint. It's then, a sprint? Uh, a sprint. Oh, a sprint. Yeah. It's a, uh, there are direction in this space. Yeah. Then, no, I, we don't get this. Sprint. One of the things... Okay, uh, you, you, well, when we say 3D, <coughs> we take a part of space, it's an oriented part of space on an axis. Ah, okay. It's not a scan. It's a... It's a... The, 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 L'empreinte? The imprint, the imprint. Uh, imprint of a space mm. in a direction. If I turn around the picture, you can see. Okay. Then, very important to understand for you who will have to uh, direct some actor in this kind of space, what is the limit and what is the contract of this space? Because this space is not, we say a box, but it's not a cube, huh? it's a pyramid, and this pyramid has a specific zone the zone in front of the screen and the zone in the back of the screen. And you cannot make the same thing in the front or in the back. A little bit like in the theater. It's a, in the uh, from, uh, sense, uh, front stage, stage, stage and backstage. Mm -hmm. You cannot access in the front stage as you access in the backstage. Mm -hmm. Then we have to remake this connection with theater uh, somewhere. 
And we will make some tests of that this morning to see how, what's happened when I'm in the front, what happened uh, when I'm in the back. And remember that there are a direct link in between the space you shot and the space where you will show your show. It's not like in 2D cinema. There are a direct connection of, uh, uh, of the characteristic based by the space. Is there a limit, would you say, when it comes in the pyramid in front of the screen that you jump out of fiction? Like, would you say you it, can, it can be, and you will test it, it can be for two reasons. Uh, the, uh, the first one usually is when you are too near, the disparity is so strong that suddenly the eyes, eyes cannot focus. Oh. So that's like in, uh, in love? They, they yeah, it, like, like in love, uh, it depends, because me, I have a very good uh, conversion, and when I see this picture, I say, <laughs> and I know you say me, you was completely discouraged. Yeah, that is, there are a, a, a large variation of stereoscopic perception, perception between the people. It's why usually we are really under the limit. Other thing interesting to see is this little camera I use, I'll be, I'll be set for TV stereo. Mm. Then you have the demonstration that when you adjust the stereoscopy for a little screen, it's not much on the big screen. Because if you have too much difference in between the space you shoot and the space where you shoot, there are some aberrations. Theoretically, if you make a TV film, you have to organize your stereoscopy completely different than if you make a, 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 a film. Theoretically. Huh? Theoretically. Theoretically. Of course, uh, the people who make a feature film, the majority of this film will be show, see on the TV, but they are just only for cinema. Or sometimes we see that in a movie. Yeah. So guys, okay. the, the, the that now I saw you. Uh, you mean about Def Cube? Yeah. So what, we wanted to show you that before uh, today to, uh, to keep in mind that uh, all, everything we said just now in the last 10 minutes is it's, it's central. But now to be a bit pragmatic, when you shoot, it's also interesting to understand what can collaborate to the feeling of 3D for the, for the viewer. And these are, dev cues are, uh, are yeah, there, there are many which are not things that we necessarily, necessarily think about. Yeah, we still see uh, in 2D, we can see, simulate 3D. The perspective is very old and we have to keep in mind that uh, that's, uh, that's we, need, we need to use all that dev cube possible to improve 3D uh, and, uh, and not just imagine that you just have two cameras, you have 3D and he, he, as yesterday with the line in perspective in the, in the shower and uh, that was a, a good example of, uh, of, uh, of, of uh, 2D, I mean perspective, only perspective and uh, so we have about, uh, about nine dev cube and uh, so, so we I don't use the same name as uh, that that him, uh, but in fact, uh, so yeah, we have Dev Q as the shadow. Uh, we have a little example here: the shadow. We use the shadow as a Dev Q. Uh, we spoke yesterday about a line perspective. We have uh, we have uh, surfaces uh, surfaces perspective. We have different detail, um, de detail of uh, if you Texture. watch, yeah, I mean, when you see something very near, you're going to have a lot of detail. And, uh, and when it's a little bit far, you're going uh, you're gonna to have a range of uh, less detail and in the brain, as you have that kind of uh, uh, less detail in the, in the background, you understand that it's in fact some perspective. So um, if you do that as dev queue, you're gonna have more three D. Um, other you have uh, uh, so um, fog uh, about we in inconsciently we, when we see uh, some fog in in the background we associate with uh, with like atmosphere. So so we the brain say okay is perspective. So so in three D we love to have a lot of fog. Is like to, to improve the three, uh, and we have um, uh, not only about that, but we have did um, um, detail in the in the thing in the volume to improve three.
Uh, so um, we love to have you know some some place to on always have a little bit of of, of of fog, not not a big fog, you know, but like smoke all the time and you do have you're gonna have much more three with that um, that effect and um, so maybe it, it's okay now we, we do the uh, uh, yeah so first we explore you explore each of you one after the other try to see how it works in, in changing position see how it feels when you change position uh, you can ask them to change um, the, the intercular distance, you know. Um, uh, maybe it's interesting that uh, uh, they sh show you how to, you know, maybe it's one of you behind the camera and one of you in front. So just to test physically with your own body, uh, both the touching of the thing and the being in front of it and what it generates on screen. That's step one this morning. 